third mission in, and we're going through the event that historically killed Ron Maru. Though it's not the first campaign we've gone through where events go further than the main character's historical death. Ah yes, an unlikely man who we never saw anything to really make me believe he was in any way actually loyal to Nobunaga in this game. At least the later games make it make a bit more sense. Though again, we actually have to make it to those later games. So let's get through this one. So apparently Nobunaga can psychically sense that he's about to be ambushed by his own forces? And the troops don't feel in any way confused why they've switched their Oda flags for Akechi, or why they're suddenly attacking Oda troops that they probably personally know. And by go to meet him, you mean you'll wait in the temple until whatever triggers you to try to escape. <laughs> well, you're certainly taking this betrayal in good humor. Almost like you looked ahead in the script and knew it would happen and didn't feel it was worth trying to avert in any way. <laughs> well, that's certainly a dramatic thing to say before we start holding them off at the only gate that's open. Bit of a shame this game is better suited for us going on the attack rather than waiting at certain points and sticking to defense. <sighs> Bloody hell, I'd rather not deal with the temple being on fire. Unfortunately, it's not like we can be in two places at once, and it's not like there's anyone else in any position to hold the south gate, even if the enemy isn't exactly trying to swarm their way in. <sighs> Damn it, might not have enough time to stop the fire from starting. <laughs> Huh. Okay, that was a lot easier than I was worried about. Seems Nobunaga is leaving a lot sooner than I was expecting, especially considering how long the raw footage for this mission is supposed to be. Huh. What's gonna stall us out? Well, of course Ranmaru is exceptional. You left him completely alone to deal with absolutely everything that's coming at us from the south. Or as completely as possible, considering we've got four guys who will constantly follow us around everywhere except on castle infiltration missions. And of course, the enemy has begun to open the other gates just to make things more of a pain for us. Oh, how I wish we could rely on our allies for a while. Hoichi! You never came across as someone who's especially religious in this game. Why do you think this is happening because your brother angered the gods? And while I'm at it, shouldn't the fact that Mitsuhide attacked a temple and planned to burn it down have made the gods more angry at him instead? I'm sorry, but it's just way too easy for me to see Mitsuhide as the irredeemable bad guy in this situation than Nobunaga. The guy who's supposed to be so vicious, he's considered the Demon Lord. Yeah. 
We're the ones under assault here, my lord. How the hell can we continue the assault when we're trying to defend one specific point on the map? Right, so you only have one thing to say to encourage your troops regardless of the circumstances. Much like everyone has only one response to taking down an enemy officer. At least the guys translating it to English decided to give each character a different phrase to say when they took down an enemy officer. Even if it's blatantly obvious they're all saying pretty much the same thing in Japanese. Well, I should certainly hope their morale is dropping when they're opening gates that nobody goes through and the only gate they focus on is the one that they've taken obscene casualties trying and failing to make progress at. Yeah. Good luck catching up when Ranmaru is the one who's in the thickest concentration of the action out here. I know they outright told us what route to take, and I'm futzing around too much, but... Eh. Okay, got to admit, that's quite a twist. There's certainly an interesting relationship they have there, and it has little bearing on the historical relationship they do had with one another anyway. Son of a bitch! You mean to tell me we have to go all the way around? That's it. I'm hitting fast forward. I'm not about to let this clip reach the half hour mark just because the game designers decided to throw in some downright padding in a major mission for Ron Maru. Right. Too much to hope that the gate that just opened would speed things up enough to actually matter. And of course, the temple's northern door isn't open either. I know we were just shown the route to get to the place we need to be, but come on! We are already so close, so it feels pretty damn annoying that we have to go all the way around in order to reach Nobunaga. And I severely doubt we're going to have to deal with this level of bullshit when we go through Lady No's campaign, or Nobunaga's. Just how many of our guys are gonna be standing around doing nothing as our lord is being nearly killed by his wife, and the enemy army is right on top of both of them? Are they just disappointed the temple isn't on fire right now or something? Okay, once we deal with our treasonous queen, we're going to have to slaughter quite a bit of that army if we want to get out of here. How is it pitiable if we've managed to save you? Not that we've been able to see Nobunaga's current condition right now, just his wife and his sister. Doichi just knock us down as we're trying to save her, along with her brother. Yeah, 
To the few people who are worried, don't. Geishin will be back in the next mission, unlike Lady No here. Just because it's over for you doesn't mean the rest of us are going to have a break anytime soon. Now, my lord, can we get a move on and leave this place? Or at least get another objective so we aren't just swinging our sword at another few hundred bodies for an annoying amount of time? Well, I mean, seriously, after a while, slaughtering nameless grunts gets boring. Especially when it's the only thing you've got to look forward to in the immediate future. Seems Nobunaga himself is completely unharmed, despite his wife's sudden betrayal. Doesn't matter how many times you fight bastards knock us down, we'll keep getting back up. Especially when your comrades keep dropping so many healing items. And dear god! It's going to be outright excruciating to get to the escape point when Nobunaga, the guy we want to save, is going to chase after every enemy we come across along the way. Oh, that was nowhere near close, Oichi. And you think that Mitsuhide would be a little worried considering how many men he's lost and hasn't succeeded in his main goal just yet. But then, it's not like he reacted when the Date clan were smashing through his troops to get to Nobunaga either. Eh. <sighs> Wonder how many more games it's going to take for the enemy to start feeling reasonably reactive in this series. Just one? Or maybe more? We have a 450 here, 450. Do we have a 500? 500 nameless troops for the fate of Nobunaga Oda, the demon lord of the Sengoku period. Girl, you shouldn't be struggling so much when you're fighting alongside someone who is literally paving the road ahead of you with the bodies of your enemies. If anything, you should be having a seat and watching as the feminine boy saves you and your brother from death. Of course, by this point, you should also be significantly older than that and already be a widow, courtesy of your brother. In fact, I'm pretty shocked Oichi wasn't the one who backstabbed him, considering this franchise loves the idea of making Oichi and Nagamasa a romeo Juliet kind of deal. Though... <laughs> Maybe I should just be glad they don't emphasize that marriage much in this game, just showing it in her campaign so far. The appearance she has in this game is just way too young for me to buy the idea that she was ever married, much less has become a widow. I know, not only are the sprites in this game not indicative of how old characters actually were at these points in their lives, politically arranged marriages in numerous cultures, would bring the future spouses together without much regard for how old they were. After all, these marriages were less about love and more about firming up ties between regional powers to either prevent war or strengthen both parties by essentially making them one. It doesn't stop me from feeling a bit uncomfortable thinking about somebody who looks like the Yoichi in this game getting it on with somebody who looks around 15 years older than her.
And now for the confrontation between friends. A confrontation with a person who is suicidally loyal to his lord somehow feels more reasonable than the guy who's trying to stop a brutal tyrant from gaining full control over the divided country. That's your opinion, not an established fact. I don't recall seeing a hell of a lot of people going to you and begging you to stop Nobunaga from gaining power. Seriously, your justification for the betrayal is told pretty badly in this game, regardless of which perspective it's done from. Come on! Ranma was even at the same battle that made you switch loyalties, and he didn't see anything wrong with what Nobunaga was doing to the monks who resisted him. Wait, taking out Mitsuhide didn't end the mission? Does that mean that there are more on the way? So the mission only ends when Nobunaga gets over there, which he's only going to do if we kill absolutely every no-named bastard left between him and that annoyingly distant location. Yeah. Now this mission is certainly proving to be a pain in my ass. His wife already tried to kill him, and had to be killed herself. I don't think there's too much else you can do to destroy his world. Besides, as a person who's claiming he's got the moral high ground and the support of the people, support I've never actually seen, that kind of line makes it sound more like you're the villain here, not Nobunaga. <sighs> well, at least Ranmaru is getting about as sick of this mission continuing like this as I am. Not that we've really seemed to convince Nobunaga to get moving any faster. He's just running out of troops between him and the escape point by now. Uh, probably especially easy, since we've managed to kill over 600 of the bastards all over the damn place. Please tell me I'm losing my mind when I think I see Nobunaga moving north instead of south. Why would he even try to decide to go north before moving in the right direction? Is it because there are a few pockets of the enemy left up there and he wants to finish them off? And good god, is it awkward trying to convince a man to escape when we've essentially retaken the capital and there's little to no one left to be hostile against here anymore? My lord, the route is completely clear now. Can you please hurry it up so we can all put this long, if one-sided fight behind us? Or are you honestly hoping something else goes wrong before we're done here? And finally, we're out of Kyoto. 
me. Mitsuhide. You'll excuse me for not giving a damn about bringing misfortune to Mitsuhide. <laughs>